This was made in 1986 okay. by a fellow by the name of Paul Simpson who lived in Attleboro, Mass. It's all chrome plated. Uh, it's a 20 fret tenor, which is a little different. Most of them are 19. Um, I helped build it. I hand engraved it. That's one of the talents I have is I do hand engraving. So I did all the hand engraving. I did all the pearl work, all of this work up in here. And the way Paul used to like to describe it is he would build the cake and Steve would frost it for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is truly a beautiful instrument. I, yes. I, I was admiring it as we were talking. I was thinking, how do I work this into the conversation? So, of course, I just out and out ask. So, <laughs> do you still do that? I mean, that's such yes. a... Yes. Oh, yeah. Such a t yeah. And that was in Attleboro that was built, so it's local. Yes. It was built Fantastic. in Attleboro. Not, not all banjos were built in Attleboro, of course. No. Uh, this particular banjo that I'm playing today is, was built, built in, Oklahoma, uh, I'm sorry, in Colorado okay. from the own banjo company. And this is circa 2008, so it's not very old. The, uh, the other banjo I typically play would be a 1924 uh, Vega, and that was built in Boston, Massachusetts, okay. uh, the Vega company, since out of business in the 1970s. But the really interesting part of that is that the, the craftsmanship is not dead. It's still no. here. Mm. No, it is definitely yeah. not dead. No, the, still the going. Matter craftsmanship fact. is still going on. In fact, I'm having a new banjo built as we speak. So I'll have that probably in the fall. Well, hopefully at some yeah. point we'll be able to get you back here and uh, show that one off. Yeah. I also know that we're looking to, um, I'll fill out the schedule is the wrong way of, of saying it, but there's some really great opportunities and you've, you've been in the Mansfield Holiday Inn, I understand. Yeah, in 2000, the last one we did I think was 2009. And uh, we, so we're, we're really not doing that anymore, but uh, in 2007, 2008, 2006, from 2000 to 2008, we were uh, bringing in talent from uh, all over the world and uh, from Amsterdam, from Germany, from England. the West Coast, mm, England. Wow. And we were uh, filling the ballroom at the Holiday Inn with a thousand people a night to come and listen to what we were doing. Well, there's so a really cool stuff. theater right up the road. Maybe we should we, start we doing hope that to, again. We hope to be filling that in, <laughs> in the near future. Mm -hmm. Shameless so. plug, everybody. Don't yeah. worry about that. I don't do that often. <laughs> uh, do I, Mr. Cass? Uh, no, no, not you. I, I was going to add that we rehearsed in Steve's shop, and just this week he, he was down there making bridges when I showed up. So no, no. There's always something going on yeah. in there with the wood, playing with the wood. Oh, you yeah. know? So you, uh, as a craftsman, uh, the frosting portion of it, a teacher and a player, uh, and then you're in the Hall of Fame. Yes. How does one get to be in the Hall of Fame? It sounds like quite an honor. Well, some of my students, Paul and a few others, nominated me for inclusion to be considered to be, um, not, uh, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Okay. They put together a package of stuff, sent it out to Oklahoma to that current board of directors. They read it all. They liked what they saw. They called me. They interviewed me. Um, they looked at my history of what I've been doing in my banjo life, so to speak, uh, which is fairly long and extensive. I started playing in 1959. Okay. Uh, my father taught me, who was also a very good banjo player. And around 1973 or so, I started teaching. And I started teaching as a way to make a little extra income. Nice. I was an artist at the Balfour Company at the time. That's where I learned how to do hand engraving. Oh, okay. And um, I met Paul Simpson in 1968, and he took me under his wing. He was really a master craftsman. He not only made banjos, he built houses, he built a boat, he, he uh, did uh, a lot of work on guns, all kinds of things. Just a really master machinist. He worked at the Texas Instrument Company in Attleboro. And he took me under his wing and, and said to me one day, he said, you know, Steve, you've got to learn how to take care of these banjos yourself because I'm not going to be around forever. And so for 30 years, I apprenticed under Paul on learning how to put new frets in, build a neck, fix whatever issue could possibly go wrong with a banjo. Mm -hmm. uh, the nice thing about banjos is they're com you can completely disassemble them and reassemble them and fix whatever needs to be fixed. How interesting. And I've learned how to do that. Wow. Fantastic. Yes. And that's what put him in the Hall of Fame, was a lifelong devotion to the banjo. Mm -hmm. And that comes through in pretty much everything you see. And so when, uh, when, when his name came before the board, it was an easy decision. So, uh, and he is in good company. He's in company with 
Earl Scruggs and yep. Steve Martin and a number of other uh, very yep. famous people who Roy are. Roy Clark. Roy Clark, oh, who was inducted a, last a, year, that's master. right. He's amazing. Eddie Peabody, Harry Eddie. Reeser, the, yep. the, the, the list is, Enorm there's probably, what, about 75 of us who are inducted right. into the Hall of Fame. And there are five people who join you every year, so, yeah. mm. and that's it, five wow. a year. Well, it's an exclusive club, and uh, yeah. we're going to have another exclusive showing, see the way I did that, of a song, I'm amazing, aren't I, Bill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here Shameless self-promotion. Paul Porter, Steve Gaddick, <laughs> and Bill Cass with Avalon. Uh, we'd like to give you one more song, and this one is going to be? Uh, fly, fly Me, me to, to the moon. moon. Right, a Frank Sinatra favorite. Tell you what, I promise not to sing if we just listen to it. Here we go. <laughs> stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars in other words hold my hand in other words darling kiss me fill my heart with song let me sing forevermore you are all i long for all i worship and adore in other words please be true Well, that was fantastic, and we are so much out of time, but I wanted to just touch on a few other things before we hit, hit the road here. Uh, Bill, how did you get involved with Avalon? Well, like I said earlier, uh, you know, knowing Steve and Paul and playing, the, playing uh, bass in, uh, in uh, Dixie bands and stuff, we, we went to these festivals and stuff like that, and Steve was trying a few different things, and we decided to add the tuba to see how that sounded, and we liked the sound. It was a great, it's a great so, sound, uh, clearly. Yeah, we, uh, and we all enjoy, we, we're, we're pretty good friends. We all, we all enjoy playing together, and uh, we just keep gigging. And you're here in Foxborough, and you're playing in four of these different groups, and you're still loving it? It's, I'm, it's... I'm, this week alone, I think I have five gigs. So um, we won't we won't bring that up. It's, it's sometimes it gets to be a sore spot, but it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, I'm out at least four or five times a month. None on, of our on, families are listening. On to this. average, it's all good. And then and then uh, in the winter time, we've been we've been since my wife retired, we've been going to Florida, and I, I found a band down there. So I've been playing down there for the winter. So I was in Fort Myers when they were doing Mardi Gras this year, wherever they were. I was doing Mardi Gras in Florida. Wow. So it was fun. Well, good. I'm yeah, glad so you're doing something you the like. The horn goes with me wherever I go. While Billy's in Florida, we've employed his future ex-son-in-law on <laughs> tour. <laughs> Uh, don't call him an ex. He's a great kid. He is. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. My my daughter actually is in Europe right now, touring Europe with uh, with the uh, Boston Philharmonic. I Youth saw Orchestra. that. She's right. she's very talented. She's in a her own clarinet life. player, and she met this gentleman in college, and he's he's got a master's in composition, and he he has also got a bachelor's in tuba. So he's like one step above me, I would say, in education. But he's got some experience to do. But he's a great player, and I'm, I'm happy yeah. to have him around to fill in for me. Well, congratulations yeah. on that. All these, all these families are all musical. I mean, Steve's father was a fabulous banjo player, Chip Bill and his daughter and everything. In my family, I play the banjo, and everybody else plays the radio. 
<laughs> Hell. Yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> what do you make for dinner? Reservations. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to go with that. So we're going to be wrapping up here, Wilson and Paul. I, thank you so much for coming oh, out. thank and you. Is we, there something you want to share? One last word to, to show the banjo. I know that the uh, Banjo Museum and, uh, is a phenomenal place. I'm ever out in Oklahoma City. Where do we go? How do I get in touch with that? Uh, it's, it's easy enough to get a hold of the Banjo Museum. You can go to the AmericanBanjoMuseum.org. And our website's there. Or if you find yourself in Oklahoma City, just go to Bricktown. Everybody knows where it is? Bricktown. Bricktown. Go to Bricktown, and you'll be in the heart of the city and at the museum. It is a fabulous place. Of course, I'm in love with it. And uh, there's no better banjo place in the world. And other than that, uh, the banjo is our life, and we just love it. Fantastic. I'm going to give Steve the last word. Bill, what do you say? Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. All right. All right. Mr. Well, Bob, Patrick. thanks for having us. It's, uh, we very much appreciate the exposure of this style of banjo playing. There are seven banjo styles, and this is an, uh, one that's fairly old, and we really appreciate it being promoted. So thank you. Well, thank you so much for coming out and sharing it. And we'll promote it one last time with Steve Caddick, Bill Cass, and Paul Porter here with the group Avalon. Avalon is fantastic. If you want to learn more about them, you can check them out on Facebook at Steve Caddick at Avalon. Uh, just type in Avalon, you're sure to find them. Or you can email uh, the uh, titular head of the group, the uh, talent, as they say. The talent. Uh, as, as at least two of the three <laughs> members are saying. Uh, and that would be at banjopa number one at yahoo.com. Thank you so much, gentlemen, you, for being Bob. out here with us. Right. And We're I right. cannot Thank you, think of a better way to spend the last half hour than listen to great banjo and tuba music. Thank you so much. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Foxborough. I hope you have a great day. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.